my banana tree, a co-worker gave it to me. She took one of her um, babies off her banana tree and gave it to me. And it was just one little stem, y'all. And I don't know if you can see it, but she's growing healthy and strong. She even have babies coming off her. My um, elephant ear that's in the front, when they die back, I cut them off and I cover my banana tree with that. And then here's one of my pineapples. Now, I don't have her. Maybe a year. It can't be a year. 11 months, a year. I don't have her. And then I planted another one about four months ago. And I got her there. I know she looks rough now, but the inside, she still has babies coming up. So that means she's not dead. I'll leave her. Now they say it's two or three different type of orange trees. I'm not sure which one this one is. There we go. I'm trying to get my camera to zoom in, but I got this from my local nursery. Um, of course, I've been trimming it. I got it when it was like a little small little thing in one of those little small five gallon buckets. Put her in the ground, she sprouted up, and I've just been trimming her as she go up. I kind of want her, if you can see it better, I kind of want her to go up this fence and bush out up top. So I kind of keep trimming the ends, but she's giving me fruit right now. So I have to wait maybe summertime here, not summer, winter time here, and I'll go ahead and trim her up a little. Now I got this lemon tree from a neighbor and she planted like six lemon trees from seed. And if I knew what I know now, I would have never got the lemon tree um, only because it takes lemon trees at least a year or two of growth before they start fruit so she had it for about two years because she started it from seed so she gave it to me last season but i tramped it up again because i wanted to go straight up and bush at the top so i've been trimming it but i'm looking at maybe another year and a half or two seasons before i see any lemons when I would have bought a lemon tree like from my local nursery and I probably would have been having lemons but I wasn't going to pull it up I wasn't going to throw away I'll just leave it alone now this bed right here it wasn't a bed I was just cleaning up my backyard in the corner it really wasn't supposed to be a bed but I had planted basil what I planted basil, beets, and turnips in my um, under my green light in my kitchen, and they took off. So once I planted them in my garden where I originally wanted them at, I had extra, and I couldn't just throw them away. So I just dropped them right here in this bed, and as you can see, I done started making it a bed. So. I wasn't even planning on making a bed, and this is a bed. But I have the sweet basil in here that I planted. I have a, what is this? Italian sweet pepper. Ooh, trying to get my. 
camera to tighten up. Then I have candy, candy cane, pepper, and I must, it must have died, y'all. I thought I had a tomato plant in here. I guess I don't. So all those are basils, basils, and then over here is my turnips and my beets. That's not looking too good. They're a little leggy. Maybe because this big old pine tree is right above us. And then, of course, I cleaned this out. This right here, I wanted it as a flower bed um, this is my headache in my garden i wanted it as a flower bed yes it is right above a big old tree pine tree but i spent so much time pulling and cleaning all this debris out of here i planted if you can see my signs over there one, two, three, four. There's a fifth one in the back. I planted five different type of flowers in this bed, hoping something come up. Um, there are year long flowers that I planted, praying that something comes up. And I have been seeing, I don't know if y'all can see, these right here, these little baby seeds coming up. But to be honest with you guys, I don't know if it's the weeds that, that that's growing in there or is it my actual flowers? Because, I mean, this bed I've been cleaning out for almost two months now, cleaning it and cleaning it. And I'm not seeing any kind of germination. So I'm about ready to just say forget it and put mulch down here just to make it look nice. But since it's so far in the corner, I really, really wanted flowers here. Just to give it a little pop to the backyard. Then we're gonna come over here. My husband cut the yard the other day, y'all. And it's rained last night, so it's kinda wet out here. So I made this bed. I originally made this bed for lettuce, spinach, and kale. And I guess it was getting too much sun because everything bolted. So I cleaned it up, let it sit for a little while, and decided that I would do garlic. So all of this is garlic that's coming up. If I'm not mistaken, I planted 75 cloves of garlic. As you can see, some of them is still coming up. But I planted 75 cloves of garlic. This is not a sweet basil. It's another type of basil. I apologize, y'all. Because, believe it or not, I got my stuff labeled. But this one right here is not a sweet basil. It's another type of basil. It's not even as sweet. It smells good, but it's not a sweet basil. But I planted her with my other leafy lettuce and she took off, so I left her. She took off, she's loving it, so I left her alone. So in this bed, it's just garlic and this one basil. 